Hello YouTube. I bought this on the internet. I won't see what company. I don't want to embarrass them. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass them. I can't even spit it out. It ain't fun. I don't want to do it. This is a copy of a copy. Okay, I can't tell you the name right off. And so I'm not... I'll put it in the description if I find it. Uh, it was one company. They changed one letter in the name. Changed the name. So then it was copied. Uh... I'm sure the first one was made in Japan, then it was made in China copied, then this is a copy of that copy. Okay, see this scale over here? This is for ohms. Well, it wouldn't work. 10k it would work. Then you got times 1, times 100, times 1,000, times 100, times 10, times 1. And I'll show you why on a resistor I don't like using 1. I'll use 10. I'll just show you right now before we do it. If you use on one, I got to say I got 330 ohm resistor, I'm way over here. I'd rather put on times 10 and then go up here and just add another zero. It's just a lot easier. I've done it for years. Well, I like this even though I got digital meters. It's way more accurate to me on resistors. You know, numbers bouncing around. and Resistors aren't accurate anyway. They're like what, plus 5% and 10%. Depends on what you buy. If you do this stuff, you know what I mean. So I don't want to get too technical. Uh, the voltage, <clears throat> I did adjust it by adjusting this. I took a 9 volt battery, which is 9.0, like 9.5 volts, and I set it, another one just like this, set it where it read 9 volts, 9.5 nine volts, because it was reading over 10. So what it was doing on the 10 scale, right here, see that 10? Get my big finger here, use this. It was bearing it past 10. So I backed off the needle. Plus, you have to zero this with over here, and I zero it. It's hard to see the mark with needle in the way. I just stopped the last mark right about that symbol, which is infinity. <clears throat> to infinity and beyond means it's beyond what you can even read. Okay, we're going to hook this up to a resistor, and I'll show you how it works. But first, I want to tell you how I fixed it. Okay. Now, disregard the green. On the other side, there's a path, right? Well, when you was on the 10K... The outside contacts, if you can see in here. See all them contacts down in there? Here, let me bring it around. See them? Sure you can see them. Okay. The outside one on 10K would go right here. If you went past that, you went 1, 2, 3, 4 resistors here, which is... One, two, three, four. Here, well, in the manual, what 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 they what they did was, this was also continuity meter. Structure tell you to go to the buzz, or go to the light. Yeah, test LED or go to the buzz. This does not have that in here. This is why they want you to test for this stuff. I'm not going to explain what that is. I'll just confuse myself. I want to use that as an ohm meter. Okay, so this is for like four meters in one. Well, I'm just working on this part, which is over in here, the ohm part. I found where the trace went up here to the knob, went over here, and see, it says LED. Can you see that? See the negative? I took this out and crossed over this resistor and bypassed it once and got it to kind of work. So I put an LED in here. I had a little, little small one, okay? It did go a little better red. Now this green when it barely glows, but it did the job to work. See the negative lead? You gotta know negative and positive on an LED. I put that in there, and this really works. My pin vise, gotta do that. You gotta drill out solder holes and stuff. Now it works. So, we've talked about it enough, and please do not ask me a bunch of questions on this if you find this video. I have no electronics degree at all. So let's pause. And I'll hook it up and I'll show you uh, testing a resistor. Okay, we're going to try to zero you in on the thing because I am really crammed in here. Okay, we're going to go down to 10 like I said and I'll explain why. And this is what you do. You come up here and you zero out your meter. See that? Might not be exact. Okay. And then we'll zoom back out here. 
and I use alligator clips. Okay, then we'll come up here and we'll zoom back in. Okay, remember I said if you use the 10 uh, times 10, that's like if you use, well, it's hard to explain that. That's 30 and 33. Okay, is it close enough? Take it times 10, 330. Okay, I have this little thing where I cheat. So I'm not a professional. Nobody yell at me about my nasty video. See that? That's supposed to be brown. No, it's not gold. See? That's your multiplier. This is from the 80s. This is old. Okay? And then your resistor is... If it'll focus... Is orange, orange, brown. The gold's over here. That's your tolerance. So it's orange, orange, brown. If you play with these enough, you'll know. Some people might say, oh, that looks like violet to me. No, you'll find when it's violet. I'm a little bit colorblind. Okay, so you see how that works, okay? Now, let's go get a bigger one and stick in here just for the fun of it. Okay, this is 470,000, and I'll show you why I don't like using that. See where that? It's not even accurate. Okay, now if I put this up one notch, okay, what we do is let me zero it out. It does read over, but there's a tolerance there which it could be off. Now earlier it read almost exactly 470 thousand. Okay, so I think you get what I mean. They're not really super accurate. Let me try one more resistor. Okay, this can be more accurate. I have an orange, orange. Orange and orange, all orange, it comes up to 33 thousandths. Okay, I have my scale set on one thousandth, so I have to add a thousand to this. This is 33, right? And a thousand is 33 thousand. That's like I said, that real big one, 470 thousand, when you get up in there, it's, these meters start getting off a little bit. And they're, I mean, you're kind of going, but, but like smaller resistors, because I hardly ever use a 470 thousandths whatever resistor yeah i hardly in my life ever would use one in something like i got one that's 2200 2200 but this one this one came out really good so you see what i mean it's 33 at a thousandths because i'm down here on the thousand scale see that so add a thousand this is not a class on this this is showing you just why i read it on different scales than some people because I don't want to be, like I said, the 470,000 that was way over here, right? So then I tried to jack it to a different spot, and then it went over 500 because it's just the way they are. I was better off reading it over here. I would have been closer on the actual scale. Okay. I think I confused enough. It's just a video just to show you. Uh, I will put a picture of the at the end what this is, but I will not tell you where I got it. I just don't want to embarrass the company. And like I said, uh, don't ask me a bunch of technical questions. I will take a picture of where that diode is if you come across one of these. It worked for me. I stuck it in there and it says which side to put the negative and it works. So thanks for watching. I know this might be over a lot of people's heads. When I try to explain it, I get confused. I haven't done this stuff for a long time.
9 volt battery goes by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 9.4 it's about 9.5 volts in it, that's close enough just a little extra video at the end just for me well, for you to watch too okay, we're on the 50 volt scale which is this scale 50 volts There's 10, just over 9. It's just the way to check a meter to see how accurate it is when you go to different ranges. I do that on 9 volts when I check a 12 volt battery. So just some added plus to this video.